Hi, this is Dr. O'Connor. Welcome to Pathways to Chemistry. In this problem, we're told that we have a buffer that contains one molar base and 0.75 molar of the conjugate acid. And this buffer solution has a pH of 9.5. We're asked, what is the pH after 0.005 moles of hydrochloric acid is added to 0.45 liters of the solution. So we have a strong acid that's being added to a buffer solution. So that means that the acid is going to react with the base. So first thing we need here is to determine the pKa. And we can do that very easily with the information we have using the Henderson-Hasselbach equation. So let me get this in here. That's the base, and here is the conjugate acid. And we know the pH is 9.5, and that's equal to pKa plus the log of this base acid ratio. So the base is 1 molar, and the conjugate acid is 0.75 molar. So now all we need to do is solve for pKa and that's equal to 9.5 minus the log of this ratio. And when we calculate this, we get a pKa of 9.38. So there's our pKa. So now what we need to do is determine how much of the base is reacted by the acid, and then of course how much of the conjugate acid is produced. So let's go ahead and first find the moles of all species involved. So we're given the moles of hydrochloric acid, and that's 0 0.005 moles. And then we need the moles of base, and that's just the volume of the solution times the molarity of the base and that is 0 0.45 moles of base. We'll do the same here for the conjugate acid. So moles of the conjugate acid would be solution volume times the molarity of the conjugate acid, 0 0.750 moles per liter, and that gives us 0 0.338 moles of the conjugate acid. So now we're all set to go. Um, it's best to go ahead and write the equation for the reaction. Well, again, as I said, the base and the added hydrochloric acid are going to react, okay? And so, of course, we have this conjugate acid of the base, and then there's going to be some water in here, and of course, some chloride ion. Okay, so we'll set up, uh, we'll, we'll talk about initial number of moles, um, the change that occurs during the reaction, and then the amount after the reaction. So here we start off with 0 0.45 moles of base, and we add 0 0.005 moles of acid to this. And then of course we already have um, 0 0.338 moles of the conjugate acid. So again, all this acid is going to react with the base. So we have a one-to-one -one relationship, so that's 0 0.005. So we subtract that from the original amount, and we end up with 0. 445 moles of base left. Okay, and remember, as the acid reacts with the base, then we're going to have more of the conjugate acid of that base form. So that's going to be plus 0 0.005 moles, which gives us 0 0.343 moles of the conjugate acid. So now we're all set to determine the pH. We can use the Henderson-Hasselbach equation. Remember, when using the Henderson-Hasselbach equation, there is no need to use concentrations. We can just use the number of moles of acid and conjugate base. Remember, those volumes cancel out. So we have pH is equal to pKa 
plus the log. And let's see, the uh, number of moles of base, we have 0 0.445 moles divided by the number of moles of conjugate acid, 0.343. And let me calculate that. That's 9.38 plus the log of 0.445 divided by 0.343. The pH is 